Hey everyone, welcome back. This is another week of Talk Tuesday. I'm Dr. Scoggins with Fresno Health and Wellness. So thank you for joining me today. Um, this is a little different in the series than what I had anticipated, as most of us probably didn't anticipate things that occurred yesterday. So uh, this week I'm going to kind of go off on a little bit of a tangent that seems relevant because this Talk Tuesday is about um, current events, uh, ways that I can help you with mental health, and just real life experiences. So I'm going to take the time to uh, discuss grief and loss, as with we all have known as a nation. Yesterday we lost the great Kobe Bryant. Um, for those of you that follow basketball or follow sports at all, know that he was a icon within basketball um, and in within the organization of NBA. Uh, many people didn't even watch basketball or know of basketball players, and yet um, this was something that was televised everywhere. Uh, so we all as a nation are kind of coming together and, and kind of reassessing our own lives and reassessing what it means to uh, be of an importance in some way in your own life, within your family, and within um, just life in general. So this is what we call in psychology um, a light bulb moment or light bulb memory. So this is something that will be kind of, I guess, as you would say, burned into your memory, no different than a 9-11 event or um, another uh, major iconic star that has passed away or major event, to the San Francisco earthquakes to be, uh, give a few, um, Whitney Houston, Michael Jackson, Prince, these events that occur around us that we may not be directly connected to, but in some way we feel the grief of the family, the grief of the loss, our imagination of what may have occurred throughout um, this crash that happened yesterday. So on this Talk Tuesday, and, and please send me um, messages if you want to interact in some way, I know a lot of radio stations are turning on um, interaction today, a lot of television shows, people are just reaching out in general to the community um, to discuss our grief. And whether you were connected to the NBA, connected as a fan, connected as a friend or family member, um, or just watching this tragedy happen it has affected you in some way so some things to um, learn about grief is understanding the process of grief right now I think we're all in this phase of disbelief so it, even as I woke up this morning it was still kind of heavy on my heart even though I knew nothing of Colby Bryant I'm a basketball fan um, but I wouldn't say that I was a, a particular Colby fan, but that doesn't mean that in some way this did not even affect me in my life. It's helped to um, reassess things, like I said earlier in the video, of what's important in life. Had he known in that 30 to 45 minute supposed ride, this would be the ride that would end his life. No, we usually aren't faced with death in that fashion. Um, at times we can be if we have a terminal illness or, or old age or something like that, but this is something completely different. So again, going back, we're kind of all in this disbelief, uh, that you may be rechecking the news, trying to get updates, trying to figure out, um, like all of what happened, even processing your own emotions of what death means to you, what your family means to you. If you're a wife, what that would have been like for you to lose your husband and child, if you were a mother, what would that have been like to lose your, your son and your grandchild? Um, if you were uh, a young girl, what would that have been like that you lost your team member? So again, uh, everybody in um, this organization have, has felt that the young girls and boys that were getting together yesterday um, to play basketball with and against his daughter 
also experienced this in, in a very much different way than maybe we had sitting at home on our couches. So going through this grieving process, of course, um, if we are vicariously grieving, that means we're grieving from afar or through someone else's experience, uh, that will kind of wear over and at times will still come back to our imagination, uh, but most of us will make it through that situation without difficulty. However, someone that was more closely related to his friend circle or family circle is going to be affected a little bit differently. So again, um, things that you can do is just reach out, talk to people, don't be isolated, allow yourself to feel that overwhelming emotion and what that meant for you. Does this mean that um, Kobe was a special person to you or does this mean that you are then um, reassessing your life and how that affects you as a whole reach out to your family members um, as many people have been seeing on tv this has helped them to kind of get over the small stuff even i was watching the grammys last night and lizzo was talking about you know the things that she's going through that she felt were really small in comparison to now this big situation so it helps us to kind of get a grasp on what really is happening in our lives how large it is or how small it is and to be just thankful of our own lives and be thankful for the lives that are with us and around us. And, um, you know, keep those prayers out for all of those connected to Mambo mentality. Keep our prayers out for Kobe and his family and the children that were all involved in this situation. Um, being here in Fresno, I was listening to the radio this morning and they were talking about um, all of these young kids, I mean, you're talking, um, you know, traveling basketball, they could be anywhere from maybe eight to 10 years old, all the way up through, um, I believe high school age. So 14, 16 years old, and they're all waiting in um, the Mambo mentality gym for a tournament. And then you find out while you're waiting to maybe play with this girl or play against her or even just get a glimpse of Kobe himself. This might be your first experience with that. And all of these children were in this um, area that had to find out about this situation, which um, can be very troubling for a lot of people. So you don't know how people are connected to the situation, but in, in most parts, um, we all are connected. Like my mother texted me yesterday, has no idea about basketball. I was really actually surprised she even knew who Kobe Bryant was, uh, but saw it on the news and asked if that was true. And so it, it's not something that's been untouched. Most people, um, at least in the US at this point, know, and I'm sure surrounding countries because he was an advocate even outside of this country. Um, so it's everywhere but again stay close to family maybe make amends with people that um you have distanced yourself from for whatever reason to to find out is this really something that you need to be worried about or can you overcome this not maybe become their best friend but just make amends with them um Talk to your own family about the situation and how they feel about it. Check on your children, especially children that may have been his daughter's age. Um, check on people that normally seem like they're doing fine because you never know what the situation might bring. Again, like we'll move past this whole disbelief and um, be able to move towards a solid sense of this has happened and how do we go on about this. And there will be other emotions and feelings that will go along. But for the most part of us that just are kind of on the outside seeing this situation, it's troubling for us even. Uh, but again, if you have somebody that's close or near, uh, check on them. Check on people. Um, and again, just making sure that people in your circle are okay and that you guys talk about this uh, light bulb memories, have that ability to kind of come back at any time. So anytime you remember 
um, the event that becomes a light bulb memory, you oftentimes will remember where you are, what you were doing, possibly what you were wearing, what you were feeling. And when those light bulb memories go off, all those things will kind of come rushing back in. So again, go back if you're old enough, which I am, I'm not giving away my age, but I can remember where I was at with 9-11. Um, I can remember with Whitney Houston, Nipsey Hussle, just different people that have passed that have been iconic in our world and knowing where you were and what was going on at that time. So this is nothing different um, in the sense of a, of a light bulb memory. I'm not trying to take away from his legacy and who he was to people at all, but I'm just saying the light bulb memory itself will will kind of go off in you as other light bulb memories in the past has. Um, so again, just reach out, be one, and maybe um, do something nice for someone that you would not have normally done and let this be a time of kindness and giving to other people. And um, I pray and I hope that we can come back next week for a talk Tuesday and actually give some tidbit of information in terms of mental health and how we manage certain mental health symptoms and quite possibly I haven't prepared it yet but maybe we'll see next week of how I can kind of build on to um, how to manage grief and loss so until that time I hope you guys keep tuning in if there's anything that you want to see or want to hear um, send me a message, a DM, and uh, to the Fresno Health and Wellness Instagram, and I will be sure to mention you on a Talk Tuesday. Have a great week, you guys, and I will see you soon.